my YouTube beauties, it's me again, Brenda, and today I'm doing a get ready with me and I wanted to try out that Hollywood iconic palette that I received yesterday in my Glitz Glam box. So here I start off with putting on some blush from the Tardius Pro Palette. So I just put the blush on, buff that out real good in the T-zone the areas that you want to look bronzy and blushed. I use my wet beauty blender to kind of blend in the makeup I already have on because I did start off with my derma blend. Now with the Manica Dar eyebrow goddess palette, I'm doing my eyebrows there with the smudger brush. Now with the Shella Ivory Lace Highlighter, I highlight above my eyebrow just to kind of give it that clean cut because it'll make it look nice and clean. Now with the Hollywood palette. I start off with the fluffy brush so that I can diffuse a transfer color. And I'm picking that one there. So I just go right in the center and start diffusing that out. The same thing with the other side, just gently. It's very pigmented, so I didn't need too much product there. You'll see how I clean it up in a little bit. Now I go to the center lid, and I just use my finger for that one. I do a lighter color. Now that highlight, I'm going to use that as an inner tear duct highlight to brighten out my eyes, make it look like you're wide awake. When I work with shimmer shades, I like to wet the brush after applying the product onto the brush. I wet it a little bit. It makes it stick a little bit better and so therefore you use less product and i'm just applying that right in the center of the eye kind of like a line kind of like a cat eye the middle of it just right there this is going to give it kind of a iridescency every time you turn your face when you turn it you'll see that iridescence right there in the center now using a big smudger brush you'll see how i marry those lines so that you can't see any harsh lines between that center color and the lid color that i had already applied so you're not wanting to smudge it all over the lid you're just wanting to kind of diffuse it a little bit now to deepen up the crease i'm using that darker brown just a tiny bit and diffusing that out so just going again to the outer corner right in the center of the crease and just buffing that out that'll give it the look that you have depth in that area with that same dark brown i'm just going to use a small smudger brush and smudge that all over the outer bottom water line Keeping in mind how delicate the skin is right there in that area. Just go as softly as you can. Try not to tug at, at it too much. Try not to irritate it. Now again, going back to that highlighter there. I call it a highlighter, but it's a shadow. I'm going to highlight the lower part of the eyebrows. That's supposed to be your brow bone. Um, my brow bone is jiggly. <laughs> now just cleaning up the highlighter that I applied on top of my eyebrows. Just clean it up a bit. You know, just, you're just basically blending it in. Now I'm using that Kaylin Jumbo Eyeliner to do a winged eyeliner. A black winged eyeliner. Girl, I can't go nowhere without my black winged eyeliner. You know I can't. I did have a hard time applying the eyeliner over the shadows. This is where I judge whether or not I like the shadows. I know I like this eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. But if it doesn't go over the eyeshadows that I wear, it's usually because of the eyeshadow. Um, it's either too chunky 
or the formula doesn't allow the eyeliner to adhere to the eyelid. We'll be applying the Thrive Cosmetics Eyelash Extension Liquid Mascara, which I have not liked. It makes my lashes very chunky. It takes a very long time to dry. Um, they stick together. I They leave those little big dots at the tips of the ends of the lashes. I've used this mascara on three occasions. This will be the fourth time, but I think this may be the last time. Because even after this mascara dries on your lashes, after an hour or two, if you go by and just kind of push on your eyelashes, you feel that they stick. I hate, hate, hate when they do that. Now I'm gonna do the setting spray with the SPF Kula uh, makeup setting spray. I like to use this one first because this one has a whole lot more of an alcoholic feel. Not alcoholic, you know what I mean. It feels like it's a drier setting spray. Then I go over with the second setting spray which is from my Gerard Cosmetics, uh, the cucumber setting spray because I like the dewy look and that's what the Gerard Cosmetics gives. Um, then I go through with a clean makeup towel to clean off the makeup on all of my edges of my hair. Then with the Hank and Henry lippy, I love this lippy. It tastes and it, it doesn't taste like cupcakes, but it smells like cupcakes. I wish it tasted like cupcakes. But this is the Petal Pusher. I love this. Love this lippy. I overdraw my lips almost every single day because my lips are wonky. My upper lip is smaller than my bottom lip. So I do overdraw my lips quite a bit. Um, then after I do my lips, I go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lippy that's a lighter color to give it an ombre effect just in the center inner parts of the lips. This is really the final finished look. It's raining cats and dogs up in my neighborhood y'all. Cats and dogs for real. Why do I straighten my hair on days it's gonna rain? I don't know. I'm done. This is the ending look. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.